Hi everyone, this is Prince Gisi and welcome to my channel. In this second part of our Working with Step 7 tutorial series, I will take you through how to download and install the Step 7 software. Let's get started. To do this, you go to any favorite browser that you like and then you type uh, Cinematic Step 7 download. You scroll down to download Step 7 software version 5.7, which is compatible with Windows 10. Okay. So you have a new page open. You can then scroll down to the download button, this red download button. You click on it. This will also send you to a new page where you have a blue download button. You click on the download button to start the download. Okay, save download. I click OK. Okay, this will take some time depending on how fast your internet is. Okay, so after the download, minimize the browser and move to your download folder. Okay, so basically it was an ISO file. I did the extraction of the ISO file using this Power ISO software. So this is the folder that contains the step 7 professional software. We open it now and when you move to the downside of it, you see the set executable file. You can right click on it and then run as administrator. Okay, you click yes. Okay, so the setup opens, you select the language, in my case is English, and then you can click on next. But basically I have done the installation already, so uh, you follow this next button to do all your installation. If you are having issue doing the installation, maybe perhaps you are not having a .NET Framework 3.5 installed. If you have that issue, you can go back, install .NET Framework 3.5 and then you can restart the installation process again so in my case the software is already installed so i'll click cancel finish okay so after the installation on your desktop you should see the semantic manager icon and then the license manager icon so the icon the two icons of interest will be the semantic manager and then the automation license manager okay so right after the installation you need to activate the trial license key to do that you go back to your installation folder and then you will see a folder named sim underscore ekb install so you double click on this folder and then you have this executable file sim underscore ekb install you right click on it and then run as administrator All right, and so the software will automatically detect the number or the important keys that you need to activate the software. Okay, so you click on select all and then you click on install. Okay, in my case, I've already done the installation, so it's prompting me that the keys are already installed. So I'll click cancel. Okay, so I can close it now. Okay, so to confirm whether the soft uh, the activation key is really installed, you come back to the license manager, double click on it. Okay, so basically the license will be stored in drive on drive C. So if you select drive C, we can see all the license key installed here. So S7 Professional 5.6 is installed. So basically, it's okay now to start the software. So we go back to the Smartic Manager and then we can double click on it to start. Okay, so it will take some time, we'll wait for some time for it to start. Okay, so basically our software installed successfully and then we are able to open it. Okay viewers, this brings us to the end of our second part of our tutorial working with step 7. 
in the third part i will take you through the semantic manager software and then we can start programming right from there thank you all for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much bye bye